Hello Star here, wanted to make a video, wanted to share a video about my drinking. I am going sober, but it is a struggle and a lot of people give me a hard time. Not everybody can go cold turkey. There is a thing called withdrawal symptoms and just wanted to share this video uh, for y'all to kind of educate you on it. So if you're actively attempting to get sober or you're sober curious, stop trying to quit cold turkey and start practicing drinking less alcohol first. As an ex-alcoholic and someone who's worked with thousands of people, I know for a fact that it is astronomically easier to practice drinking less alcohol first. And the reason why we do that is because we're gonna acclimate our body to expecting less. Remember, our high tolerance is our body preparing for an addiction. It is our body's inability to process alcohol efficiently. So if we've practiced drinking alcohol the way an alcoholic would and we have a high tolerance, we want to do the opposite and practice drinking less alcohol the way a casual drinker would. Yes, you're not going to catch a buzz as fast. You may not even catch a buzz at all. And that's a good thing because if you're thinking about getting sober or you're actively on your way, you don't want to catch a buzz and be drunk and black out. You don't want to do that anyway. So I'm encouraging you to do this. Pick a date and go, okay, I'm going to start practicing drinking one less. If you have an average of five drinks a day, practice drinking four for, I don't know, a couple weeks. Get your body used to that. Drink some more water at the same time. Don't overdo it. Be true. Be real. We're practicing consuming less, retraining the body, retraining the brain. And in time, you can bring it down to two or three or four, whatever, whatever is convenient for you. At that point, now that you're feeling better, you're thinking more clearly, your body's responding more applicably, you're able to just quit at that point. Now, quitting is the easy part. Staying done, that's where people have some struggles. As an ex-alcoholic and liver failure survivor, if you're struggling and you can personally use my support, you know exactly where to find me.